Hey Brent, my name is Jared. What we're going to do here is just go through your website and talk about you and compare you to a competitor, right? So we're just going to go through and give you a couple of tips as we look at it. Um, we're talking about three different ways to get you put on the first page of Google. What kind of keywords do you want to be found for? Are they even worth being found for? And see if there's search volume, things like that. And then how do we get ranked once we decide to target a keyword? So let's jump into your website and see if there's anything that we can kind of find uh, that stands out. Alright, so here is the home page of the website and there's, I can't scroll, this is all there is. Um, so when you're looking to rank a website and you're going out and getting backlinks and things like that, you're usually just going to leave your URL, right? So you're going to leave your entrepreneur.net, couldn't, I didn't know how to pronounce that, but entrepreneur.net, um, you're going to leave that website, right? You're not just going to, you're not usually going to backlink to the back pages, so you're not going to go and put um, entrepreneur.net.net backslash services, right? So it, it is important to make sure you build out your homepage and not just, you know, have it kind of be a splash page like this. You need to have at least 300 words of content on the homepage, and that's Google's words, not mine. And then our words is we recommend 1,500 words of content to really spell out all of your services. It gives you opportunity to target the keywords as you talk about it, and then linking um, with hypertext and photos and things like that into those back pages is going to help spread out that um, that po that power and authority. So let's jump into the uh, tool that we use. It's called AREFs, and we're going to see exactly what kind of stats you have going on. All right, so here we are on the overview section of the website here, and what we want to look at is just right here is your actual homepage power. So you are getting some authority from the backlinks and domains you've already associated with. Um, that's going to be the actual homepage, right? Just the page I typed in at the top. And that's normal because that's what people normally link their site to. And so a lot of authority is going to go to that homepage. And that's why we really encourage people to really build that homepage out and then to also link that page back into the other pages to transfer some of that authority onto the other pages, right? So this 1.8 is the entire website as a whole, so the homepage and all of the back pages. And that's going to be, you know, again, that's why it's so low is because the homepage is taking up everything and it's not passing any of that on to the back pages. So right here is your backlinks and domains. So we can actually go in here. We can sift through every single one of these. We can see where every single one goes, where it comes from. And then we can do that with our competitors too. So we can go through and cherry pick everything that we want and leave everything we don't. And it really saves us a ton of time doing it that way because we can use what's already working for people and just copy that and then continue that with 15, 20 different competitors and just cherry pick all of theirs right. Right. So then at the very end, you'll have... You know, all of your links will be high quality, and you'll have as many as the uh, top competitors do, but you won't have all of their junk. You'll have taken the top sites off of all of the competitors, you know, just kind of taking the cream off the top. So we use that a lot. Right here is the organic keywords you're getting found for. So 41 keywords are getting found on the website, and that's driving in 75 traffic each month. So I don't know how many calls that means to you, um, you know, what you're getting so far, but we want to look and see where the traffic is actually coming from. So it looks like people are actually searching your name. So they know you from somewhere, they've already done business with you, and now they're reaching back out to you, um, you know, hoping to get you to come back out for the next week or month or whatever the, the schedule looks like, right? So that's going to be a return clients, and it's not going to be that new business that we want our website to generate for us. Right here, this Dog Waste Removal Omaha, Pet Waste Removal Omaha, those are going to be your ranking in the second and third spot. So those are the kinds of keywords that we want to be targeting, right? So dog waste removal is what we need, and we need it in Omaha. Pet waste removal needed in Omaha, right? So what do I need, and where do I need it? So like poop cleanup service, there's no location in there. So somebody in Florida or Texas or wherever could have been searching for this, and you could still get pulled up for it, right? So we really want to be you know, targeting these words that have Omaha in it. All right, so it does look like you do mowing, mulch, landscape, cleanup, Fertilization. So let's see if we're getting found for any of that. Go down. Let's do this. We're going to exclude your name. And we're going to include Omaha. All right, so we went ahead and just kind of filtered through the results here to really pull out the kind of words that we're looking for just to see what you're getting found for and what's kind of going on here. So most of your traffic, again, it looks like you're ranking a lot of your stuff for the pooper scooper, the waste removal, and things like that. Um, but you also offer other things too. So like Omaha spring cleanup, hundred people search that a month, but you're sitting down on the fourth page. Um, you know, here's some more different keywords, yard waste removal, 
So there's some search there, yard waste pickup, canine waste. Like there's a ton of these words, but you're sitting down on the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So this would be the tenth page of Google for the yard, which obviously we don't care to rank for that. Um, so dog waste removal, Omaha. There's a lot of these different keywords, um, and you're getting found for photos too. So some of these are going to be repeats. But so you're not getting found for any lawn care. Um, you're not getting found for any mowing services. So let's go ahead and jump and see what kind of search volume we can get if we were to target that as well um, and see what we can find. All right, so I went ahead and just typed in lawn service Omaha, and we're just going to find a competitor here. So right here at the top, these are ads that people pay for. So when I click into this, they get a bill from Google for two and a half, three dollars, whatever the going rate is for this word because I clicked on their thing, right? So that's how Google charges you if you're there. Um, but as you can see, it starts to get pretty crowded up here and people know that anybody can come up and run an ad. So a lot of people are skeptical around here because storm season comes around and a lot of roofing companies will come in out of town and run ads, um, but they're not local. They're not, they don't stick around. You know, they don't, you can't call them back in a few months, whatever the case may be. So, you know, sometimes people are skeptical of that stuff, but right here is the map pack. And so getting ranked here is a matter of citations, taking your name, address, and phone number, and putting it out on as many directories as possible. And then at the very top here, there's usually a fourth slot. If somebody's running an ad, you can pay to be put right here at the top. All right, so if you wanted to jump in on some of these keywords that were more seasonal, it is a good idea to go ahead and use this type of thing um, to get yourself up there in a hurry and, you know, just pay the little bit of extra money to have it done um, you know, just to have it put up there right away. So right here is the actual organic section. So this is where your website ranks. Uh, when we're looking at, you know, getting ranked for the waste removal or lawn care, this is where your website's going to land. So the top three spots here get the vast majority of the clicks, depending on who it is. So not a lot of people like Yelp. I mean, I should say that some people don't like Yelp. Some people do, right? So some people just want to know which company is actually qualified and is a real company. So they'll go down and find whoever has the first you know, is the first real company that is a, uh, a local company that they can go and look at, right? So if you go in there, you have to sort through them and, uh, you know, kind of do some more digging in there. So as we click into here, so these guys are doing lawn and landscape. So these guys are going to be, you know, targeting this type of service directly. You can do the same type of thing by having a back page um, that's all about lawn, landscape, and things like that. Um, but right now, your website is pretty small. And so we do want to try and get it built out and give you more opportunities to be found for the different types of things you're offering. Um, but let's go ahead and take this and jump right back into AREFs. All right, so here's their numbers. You can see 24 is the actual homepage. And then again, they're not linking enough back to those back pages to really tie the whole thing together. So there's 4.1 is for the entire website. They do have a pretty good amount of backlinks and they have 70 referring domains. So, you know, kind of a, it's kind of skewed there if we come in and click into here. So this is what we do when we go to look to see what exactly is going on. Where are they getting all of their power from? So this Vivian or Vivens Ensemble.net, it's only a 13, but they're giving them 240 backlinks, 243. So we want to go into here and actually see what's going on there, kind of educate ourselves on what this website is. And if it's a good one, we will go ahead and get it. Uh, but this, like right here, this is going to be their own website. So HH Landscape, that's them referring to themselves. They have two websites right here. I wouldn't be surprised if this is very similar. This is just a blog. Um, that is not getting any, it's not trusted with Google, it's not getting any traffic to the website, and so that's not one that I would want to go out and chase. Um, you know, and then you can go down here and just kind of pick out all the ones that are ranking um, with Google here. They're, that's not ranking, but they're trust rating, and then they're giving the do follow link. So if you come down, you can see these go down to twos, and they're just giving you one link, and now they're giving you zero links that are actually going to be giving you credit. So all of these websites that are not giving you credit, we have to be very picky about why we are actually associating with them if they're not going to be giving us credit with our links. So let's jump into the keywords. All right, so you can see here at the top, lawn service, lawn care, lawn services, Omaha lawn care, lawn care Omaha, lawn aeration, mowing services, lawn care. So the list just goes on and on and on um, for the amount of different words that people can be searching for these types of things. Um, and, you know, so getting found for more than just waste removal, if that's if you want to be targeting more than that for services, you're, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities here. So we really want to try and get you to build the website out, get the content on there, name those photos properly, and get found for more of these keywords, and then put more attention on ranking those back pages specifically, and not just the home page. All right, Brent, that is all I have for you. My name is Jared. My phone number, this is my direct cell phone, is 402-515-7222. 
you have any questions, please give me a call. I'd love to help you out with this. It does look like there is some opportunity that is being missed. Um, and, you know, so that's what we specialize in is kind of helping you target the rest of those keywords and then pushing the website up to get it ranked. So hope to hear from you soon. Talk soon.